I guess alignment. It's one of the biggest frustrations in golf. We go out there, we're going to play a round. We play about half the round. We're hitting the ball terrible. The ball's flying all over the place. And then your buddy tells you, hey, by the way, you're lined up 40 yards too far to the left or 40 yards too far to the right. You fix it, and then all of a sudden you start hitting better shots. So how do we get, number one, how does alignment get so far off? How can we get 40 yards or 20 yards left or right and not even know it? And then number two, how do we fix it and get a routine so we can get lined up well every single time? That's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. So first off, it's very important. The most important thing is to always put a stick down every time you're hitting range balls, if you wanna have your alignment good. Because your mind's eye will drift. It'll start to line you up more to the left or the right without you even realizing it. And what happens is if we don't have this stick here and I start to hit some golf shots, I'm, I'm practicing at the driving range, for whatever reason, it may feel a little bit better for me to start lining up a little more open or a little bit more closed. And that starts out where I hit a few balls and I'm a little open with my feet. And then all of a sudden I go a few more weeks without checking my alignment and I get more and more and it gradually starts to drift this way and this way. And now all of a sudden I'm lined up way over to the left or way over to the right. So your mind's eye is just like training your muscles. I need to constantly have feedback for my mind to, to allow it to square itself up with the target out in the distance. So if I have this stick down, I'm lining up my feet parallel with that stick. Now, after repetition after repetition, it's training my eye for what it sees with the target and how that feels with my feet. So if I always put a stick down, my alignment's gonna be great. And if I don't put a stick down, my alignment's always gonna be terrible. I'm always gonna have to feel like I'm way out of whack. So every single time you hit golf balls, put a stick on the ground. So once we've done that, or once we understand that idea that we have to do this every time, what's a routine that we can do to make sure that it doesn't get off track? So what I'll do is I picked out a target here in the distance. You can see a white flag. And what I've done is I've lined up the camera, this stick, and the white flag way out in the distance, all in a perfectly straight line. And that's gonna be where I line my feet and the ball up to. So as I'm hitting golf balls, I could have my feet right on this target. Or if I move over here, after I've hit 15, 20 golf balls, I can have my feet here. But no matter where I go, I'm just making sure, even if I move back, I'm making sure that my feet are staying roughly parallel with this. So I have this reference point down, and my feet are staying parallel, which means they're gonna be parallel to the target way out there in the distance. Sometimes you'll hear people say parallel left, and they'll talk about where your feet should be 10 or 15 yards left of the target. I honestly have no idea what they're talking about. It doesn't, it doesn't quite make any sense to me. You may want to have your feet a little bit left if you're playing a draw and hitting down into the ball because your path is going to be, if I'm hitting down, my path is going to be working out to the right a little bit more. That's fine. You could line up a little left every time, but the whole parallel left doesn't quite make sense. It's either parallel and my feet are, you know, a foot and a half inside that ball all the way out there in the distance or it's not. But we won't get any farther down that subject. Just put this down toward the target and then I can move around keeping this parallel with my feet. Now, when I'm out on the course and I wanna get my alignment really good, now I'm not gonna have this stick down there to, to be my, my you know, baseline. So I have to use another system to make sure that I'm getting really good alignment every time. So what I will do, and I'm gonna stand to the side so you can see this pretty well, is I'll come step behind the ball if you're struggling with alignment and I'll put a club up over my ball and toward my target or wherever, more importantly, my starting line where I want this ball to start up in the air. So I'll line that up. And then once I find that, I'm gonna pick a spot out in the ground about a couple feet in front of my ball. Maybe there's a leaf, maybe there's a divot, whatever it is, but I'm gonna put that spot perfectly in alignment there. Now from your camera view, because we're lined up down this stick, that may not look perfectly lined up to my target, but that is dead on my target line. So that's just a camera kind of optical illusion. That may look like it's pointing to the left or something like that. But once I have this down, now I'm gonna go through my routine. So the way I like to do it is I'll take a couple practice swings behind the ball. And then when I come into this shot, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna line up the face of the club square to my point out in front, which is also square to the target. So I'm kind of standing side on like this. Now from there, once I get that lined up and everything looks good, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my grip with both hands and while I'm looking at the target now, I'm gonna step into the ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and forth, step in the ball, work my feet, and now I'm lining up while I'm looking at the target, and usually that's gonna be pretty daggone close to being square, relatively close to being square. What I don't wanna do is to line up the face of my club to this point in front, look down at the ball, and then line up my feet, because I can't see the target. I could easily line up there, 
or I could line up there. I want to make sure that after I square my face, I'm looking at the target as I set my feet and that's going to get me pretty well lined up. So to be sure, the last thing here I'll leave you with is we got to make sure that we videotape every once in a while to see if our, line, our alignment looks good. And what I'm checking on video that I can't see with just the stick is I'm looking to see are my shoulders, my hips, my shoulders, everything else, is it lined up pretty square? I wanna make sure that those are roughly in the, the general idea there. So that's how I go through making sure my alignment's nice and square. Now that said, I wanna leave you with one final thought here is that we don't have to be perfectly square. There's great players, some of the best players in the world that line up a little bit open. For example, as some pros will tend to line up a little open with their shoulders. So at address, their shoulders may be there. Um, doesn't make much difference because as I come back down to impact, my right heel's off the ground, my right leg's move, my hands are in a different position, my hips are in a different position, and my shoulders are in a different position. So it doesn't mean that if we line up straight, we're gonna hit it straight. It just means if we line up consistently, we're gonna be consistent. So nothing wrong at all. Let's say that you play a little bit of a fade type shot lining up a little bit left of this stick. That would be completely fine. I just want you to line up the same way every time. That way we have a good foundation to build from. Same thing there. I could line up a little bit to the right if I play a draw. No problem with that. So your alignment doesn't have to be exactly the same for every player. It just needs to be very consistent. Whatever you like to do needs to be consistent for you. So me personally, I like to be just a hair open most of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my routine. I'm coming back here. I've got my point out in, in the front of the ball. I put a tee down there to mark it for now. I'm gonna step into this shot, line the face up with my target and that tee, and then I'm gonna look at the target and I'm gonna go just a little bit to the left of it. So you can see how my feet are a hair open. That's my personal preference. Once I line up like this, then I'm gonna go ahead and make my normal swing. There we go, nice straight shot right toward the target. Work on that routine, get lined up consistently for your game and you're gonna play some great golf. All right guys, hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, I got an awesome bonus for you. We all want lots of lag in our golf swing. It's so crucial to have tons of lag to be able to get that high club head speed and to be able to drive it past your friends. I'm gonna play a preview from one of my most important golf lag videos. If you're on a desktop device, you can go ahead and click the link that pops up on your screen. If you're on a phone or a tablet, you can go ahead and click the i card and you're gonna get instant access to that video. Plus, you're gonna get instant access to five videos from our top speed golf system. Good luck to you guys. Go out there and rip the ball. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see. And in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing, I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, you look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only going to max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be.